I just need somebody to help me understand. I'm just trying to understand. Now, this is when you know the ish is real. When I am coming to you with nothing but a wife beater on, I got my bifocals on, no contacts, okay? I ain't even got an outfit on. I ain't in my studio. You know shit is real when I'm laying here reporting the news from the bed. Lord have mercy. Some See, it was a scheme set up by Sabrina Patterson, Peterson, whatever the hell her name is, to come at us with the bullshit. Now look, I don't know if y'all seeing her about this whole T.I. and Tiny thing, but the fact that VH1 has now shut down production, okay, of Family Hustle and Friends with T.I. and Tiny and Monica and Latoya and all the other, you know, stooges on there, you know it's got to be real, okay? Anytime a company shuts down production over allegations, you know it's got to be real. Somebody can I get an amen. Now, the thing that bothers me the most is not so much as the fact that it's all of these allegations coming on. It's the fact that we got people coming all out of the woodworks all of a sudden, okay? Wanting to hop on the bandwagon, okay? All because of what somebody supposedly said that really wasn't true in the first place from what I heard. Then you got Shekinah, okay? Tiny friend who done made the ish worse by stirring the pot even worse. Now, the only question I got to see here and ask through it all is, now, T.I., <laughs> excuse me, that ain't COVID, y'all, that ain't COVID. T.I., you see him said, okay, verbatim, that consenting adults, okay, meaning that when you have adults that are consensual when it comes to doing sexual things in the bedroom between you and Tiny, that what y'all do in the bedroom with adults is perfectly fine. And I do agree with that. However... Let it also be known when you are a celebrity and you start bringing people in your bedroom from the outside, what else you think going to see here happen? Now, if my, grass, if my glasses are cricket, y'all, y'all just sit here and just pray for me, okay? Put me on the sick and shed in list. It really don't see here matter. I'm just trying to see him bringing the news from you from my heart, okay? From my heart, okay? And what my heart is telling me right now is that T.I. and Tiny is in a whole bunch of ish. Now, look. Let me sit here and going back up even further. Now, Tiny, I love you. Don't sit here and shoot the messenger. But the word on the street is that the ish can't sit here and be that true because who in the world finna sit here and playing Tiny Cootie Cat? I'm just sitting here and saying. And also, what the hell goes on, okay, in between closed doors between, between T.I. and Tiny when it comes to a threesome? What exactly does a menage a trois entail? Somebody explain to me. Does it go a little something like this? Hey, what's up, Shawty? Yeah. I would like to sit here and watch you come and play in my wife's cootie cat expeditiously. <sighs> I mean, I'm just trying to figure out. Somebody please sit here and let me know, okay? I've been trying to sit here and figure it out because it still ain't sitting here and soaked in. I'm trying to understand who the hell, okay, is sitting having threesomes with Tiny and T.I. Somebody need to sit here and explain to me because I got questions that need answers. And Sabrina Patterson, Peterson, girl, whatever your name is, girl, we gonna need for you and Gorilla Glue, girl, okay, both to go sit down and have several seats and go find a real job instead of sitting trying to incriminate, trying to sit here and incriminate this man, all because of the fact that what maybe he didn't sit here and pay you what you thought you was worth. Oh, now look, y'all. Now the real kicker is, is that these people don't lost their whole show. Now, what other income do you know that Ti Ti and Tiny got other than VH1? Okay, Family Hustle. Okay, Ti Tiny ain't singing it with Escape right now. Okay, Ti ain't put out an album in God knows when. So I'm just trying to figure out where the money go. Okay, where the money reside. Okay. Now look, it ain't my job to see here and count nobody's pockets, but I'm just seeing here and saying. Okay. One plus one don't equal two. And the last time I checked, they just sit here and bought a new house. But I ain't trying to count nobody's pockets because that ain't my business. However, what I am trying to say is I have sit here and tried the picture in my mind back and forth, left and right, up and down. Okay. All in between my thighs and in my butt trying to sit here and picture how in the hell can this man 
Just sit here and drag girls over into a room, back and forth, left and right, across the room, back and forth. Okay, you got girls sitting here crying, talking about they don't see him, want to see him go in the room. Then you got people sitting here making allegations, talking about they done saw this and that, and they don't know what happened behind the closed doors, but they saw a girl walk out and she was crying. Look, if y'all wasn't in the room at the time of when this ish happened, then y'all don't need to sit here and give no kind of account witness statements. We need people that was actually in the room to just see and come and have a tell-all down to the Lifetime Network because you know Lifetime will get it out you. If nobody else get it out you, Lifetime will get it out your ass, okay? Lifetime will see him make a documentary about in a quick second, okay? Y'all that see and see that R. Kelly, a surviving R. Kelly, baby, it's about to be surviving T.I. and Tip before it's all seen, said, and done with and Tiny, okay? Featuring Tiny. Now look, let me just see him go and say off the record. Is T.I. innocent? Hell to the no, he ain't innocent. We already know that T.I. done cheated on Tiny ass for the longest. But in the words of Tamar Braxton, she has said once before, if a man is cheating on you and you ain't doing nothing about it, let that man cheat on your ass in peace. Hallelujah! Thank ya! With that being said, if he did do some of the stuff, because I don't believe he did all of it, but I definitely believe that there's some truth to it because it's always some truth to a story, okay? You got two sides, and then you got somewhere down the middle, there's the truth, okay? If everybody is saying the same tune, somewhere down the middle, there's a little bit of truth sprinkled in there, okay? And I'm quite sure that pretty soon it's going to come out. Do I blame VH1 for backing out? Heck to the no. They got a brand to protect. Now, what I am mad about is that you out here messing up Monica check, Monica Latoya, okay, and Toya Johnson. They ain't did nothing to you, okay? And y'all out here see him messing up the church's money, messing up folks' checks because y'all asses out here putting y'all sex life on front street. See, this is why you don't let people in your bedroom. Y'all got to learn how to be sacred. If you're going to be married, be married. If you're going to be a freak, be a freak. Whatever you see here and do behind closed doors, if you're going to see here and get freaky deaky all down to the willy nilly, you make sure that it's with somebody who ain't going to see here and spill your tea. Because see, this is a prime example of when you let too many people in your bed. I'm just sitting here saying, y'all cut my damn lights off. I got to go. Yeah. Bye.